Another thing I wanted to find out from Zach Dicer, why there were so many good plays. You lay it on the line every week for your guys, don't you? Yeah. And why there were three or four oh, plays you just can't explain. Down goes Dicer! Yeah. Well, what the hell are you doing? There's no more Mr. Nice Guy. Welcome to this Sports Center special, Gruden's QB Camp with Zach Dysert, presented by Corona Extra. I like Zach Dysert. Dysert looks to the corner, touchdown to Miami. He has talent. More of a pocket passer. Going toward the end zone, touchdown. Throw on the run, escape ability, being able to see the field, anticipation. Escapes a tackle, on the run, to the end zone, touchdown. What I do see is production, consistent production, and a kid that has playmaking ability. All right, Zach Dyser, I want to welcome you to the FFCA. Thank you very much. Thanks Coach. for joining me, Dad. I'm excited to be here. Everybody wants to know who the hell this guy is, Zach Dyser. Yeah. Big guy. Plays at Miami, Ohio. Three-time captain, they tell me. Yeah. Tell me who Zach Dyser is. What am I getting as the head coach of an NFL team if I draft this kid? I mean, I'm a simple kid, you know, I'm a small town kid, so, uh, you know, it's like to keep things simple. You know, I like all those stats, 12,000 yards, 73 touchdowns, 64%. I'm into intangibles, too. I want, a, like, I want a guy that can lead our football team. And when I see a three-time captain, what is it about you that allows you to become a three-time captain at Miami? Uh, That's know, never been done at Miami, Ohio. No. Nope. Uh, you know, it's my, my ability to relate with the players, pretty much, you know, uh, I'm a very easygoing guy, and, uh, you know, I know my players very well. So there's certain guys, you know, that I can get on a little bit harder than others, certain guys that I need to <clears throat> be a little bit more of a motivator, take them under my wing a little bit more. And, you know, that's that's what I feel like is the best thing for, about me. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't treat every guy the same because nobody's the same. You remember this play here? <laughs> of course I remember this play. Isn't this the play that you have to make? You have to get this ball in the end zone, don't you? Fourth and this is yes, sir. Isn't this one of the things that your players on your team admire about you the most? Oh, You're yeah. going to do whatever it takes to score here, aren't you? Yeah. And isn't this the play you hurt your spleen on? Yeah, last year my spleen on this play right here. What a hell of an effort. Try it. So you lay it on the line every week for your guys, don't you? Yeah. Got to. Uh, that's the only way. You know, that's the only way we play. Tell me about Miami of Ohio. They call this the cradle of coaches. And when you look at the amount of great coaches that have come through Miami, it's an amazing place. What 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 is this cradle of coaches all about? Oh, you know, it's. I mean, every good coach comes through Miami at some point. It seems like, uh, you know, there's been so many, and uh, you know, that's something we take great pride in. But, you know, when I see Eric Parsegan and Red Blank and Bo Schembechler, Woody Hayes, you know, there's a lot of great coaches. You know this coach here? Yeah, Coach Harbaugh, yeah. He, was, uh, he just came back last summer and talked. Hey, you know where he played football, right? Miami. The defensive back, he's got to be in the cradle of, of coaches. Course. I'm giving Harbaugh a plug here. Are you going to get him a statue or not? He's <laughs> your most notorious alum right, right I now. I hope he gets one. He deserves one, that's for sure. Speaking of coaches, he had a lot of coaching changes at Miami. Yes, they I should have. call it the cradle of coaching changes. How many different head coaches you play for? I had three different head coaches. Cradle of coaches. Cradle of a lot of coaches, exactly. right? How many That's different it. coordinators did you have? Three different coordinators. How many quarterback coaches? Four different quarter, uh, coordinators. Three quarterback head coaches. coaches, three coordinators, and, and four different quarterback coaches? Yes, sir. What did it do to derail you, the new coaches, every year? I mean, it was a little, uh, it was a little disappointing sometimes, you know, right when you... Uh, when you got used to a system, they left. When you got used to a system, they left. When you tried to master the system, they left. And then, uh, you know, it was just hard at times. Here, here's one thing I want you to get out of this visit, Zach. Yes, sir. Just write down, get used to it, okay? Yeah. Because coaching changes, I'm at the FFCA because I got what? What happened to me? Fired. What? Yeah, I got fired. <laughs> Run out. Bomb. <laughs> Gone. All right, so did my 18 assistant coaches, okay? Yeah. Yes, Tim Tebow, you know him? He's an alum. Yeah, yeah. All right, he was drafted by Josh McDaniels. Mm -hmm. Josh McDaniels left. They brought in Coach Fox. 
Then he got traded to the Jets, and he had to learn a new offense from Coach Sperano. I don't know who's going to coach him next year. Okay. Tebow. Yeah. How about Wheaton? He was just in here, started last year as a rookie. What's he going through? Coaching change. Coaching change. Can't be an excuse. Nope. But the great thing I see in you is I think you've shown the ability to adapt. But what happened to Flacco this year after about week 10? They okay. changed okay. offensive okay. coordinator. Okay. So I want you to look at that. As a positive in some regards, you have shown the ability to adapt, and you're going to have to continue Thank to you. show that ability. Yes, sir, definitely. Aren't you from Ada? I am from Ada, yes. Look at that. Isn't that the way they make the Wilson footballs? Every single one, man. What's that factory? It's just got to be great, man. They're making oh, footballs awesome. right where you grew up? Exactly. It's awesome, man. There's a school field trip every year. <laughs> yeah, a school field trip to the, to the Wilson, Wilson football, factory. football factory? Yeah. They sew those by hand. Every one of them, yeah. Look at these people at these Miami games raising hell in the parking lot, cooking yeah. burgers. I mean, it, was a, it wasn't a big-time stadium. It wasn't hundreds of thousands of fans. And what is this, deers? Yes, sir. What the heck's going on at Miami? Hey, there will be deers running through campus. It's really? crazy, yeah. Is that a distraction when you're playing quarterback and you got a buck running through your... <laughs> Try not to think about it, sir. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't even notice it at the time, so I guess not. Yeah, I enjoy watching your films, can you tell? <laughs> I appreciate it. And speaking of leaderships, I got to ask you, uh, does this kid's name ever come up around Miami? Big Ben up top. It's Robinson. It's caught. It's touchdown. Are there any similarities that you see between you and Roethlisberger and the style in which you play? I mean, we can both make plays with our feet when we need to. Uh-huh. Ex extend that play just a little bit longer to get somebody open. Tell me. This is what people want to know. Is there, is there this kind of upside in this dicer kit? Yes, sir. You know, the bigger the game, that's what you know, that's what I love. Those big games in you know, Ohio State, Florida. But he's not just a great quarterback. He's a two-time what? Super Bowl champion. Yeah, he's the face of the franchise. And that's what we're looking for. Yes, sir. At the FFCA and in the NFL. Can you, can you bring it? Yes, sir. Whatever you guys need me to do. Coming up on Gruden's QB Camp. Well, just tell me what happened on this. Down goes Dicer. For Zach Dicer to be an NFL quarterback and a good one, he's going to have to function in the pocket. Dicer is going to get hit and sacked. He can't take that many sacks to be dominant at the next level. What do you think of that number? A lot of them. That's 159 times a smart, big, athletic guy goes down? Yeah. How do you say, how, how does that, how is that? How do you get sacked 159 times? I mean, a lot of different offenses. Okay. I mean, that's not an excuse, but sometimes. Well, my tears, I, I got to wipe the tears out of my eyes. I'm <laughs> sad. <laughs> not an excuse. Okay. Sometimes the uh, line gets a little confused. Played a lot of young guys. Mm -hmm. Had some injuries. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it was a combination of things. And then, right. I mean, I got to put some of them on myself, obviously. Not seeing the blitz. Perfect. Trying that's to, all you can do. to make a play. When sacks. Write it down, sacks. 159 of them. If we can prevent three of these yep. and make that number 156, yep. after your first four years in the NFL, I feel like we had a good day here. Exactly. Just make a note, will you? Empty, 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 E-M-P-T-Y, that's what I say. Empty, empty, that's what we're talking about. I talk about this a lot in college circles because a lot of guys are in it. Just write down code one, code two, and code three. But when you line up like this, when you line up like this in the NFL mm -hmm. with five wides and five blockers yeah. and Zach Dicer, you think you're going to come into my house without me having an automatic check? No, sir. No, code one is I'm coming after you. I'm going to automatic to a blitz. I tell Erlacher and Briggs they played 15 years. You weren't even born yet. I say blitz his ass every time he comes out and empty. Automatic to it and drill him. Yeah. You got me? Yes, sir. Secondly... I might say, let's go code two. Yeah. Let's check to a three-man rush. Let's play Tampa two with six underneath because I know he's passing, right? Yep. Yeah. And code three, let's just play what we have called. But that's what a dolt would do. You know I use that word dolt a lot, D-O-L-T? It's yeah. a stupid fellow. I looked it up in the dictionary. <laughs> I'm not just going to line up and call cover three, cover one man-to-man -man and have you just shred me, yeah, exactly. I'm going to automatic to what I want to play against a known passing formation, mm -hmm. right? Yes, sir. Here we are in what formation? Empty. Empty. The mic's right over the center. Yep. You're playing the Massachusetts Minutemen, yep. right? Okay? Yes, and let me ask you, you're, you're, I mean, you're Zach Dicer. They got a code what? 
Code one. Code one, they're going to have some tricky, tricky blitz plan for you, guys. Because you're in empty 30 times a game. Yes, sir. Well, just tell me what happened on this one. Down goes Dicer. Yep. Well, what the hell are you doing? I mean, I got to ask you. I don't know the ball too long. I didn't see, I didn't see him coming for one thing. You didn't see him coming? Nope. I mean, he's hitting you right on your right shoulder, right under your chin. Player safety, yeah. okay, is a very controversial topic. Yeah. Player safety is going to be an issue if you let these minute men come flying through the A-gap. Because I don't know what to tell that defensive guy to do right there. Exactly. What happened on this? That was my fault. Okay, so that number should have been 158, right? Yes, sir. But I've seen you make back shoulder throws. I've seen you throw seam balls, quick game in the gun. I've seen you get to the turkey hole. I call it the turkey hole or the dead zone between the corner and the safety. Yeah. Hey, man, that's another turkey hole shot right there against Wisconsin, uh, Northwestern, isn't it? Mm-hmm. That's great, Zach. That's outstanding. No problem throwing on the right yes, on sir. the move? Nope. But I'm, I'm showing Dicer make plays in rhythm. Yes? Yes, sir. I'm showing you NFL style of throws that you're making. These are outstanding plays that you're making. But what I want to see you do is shave that number of sacks, right? Yes, sir. 159. You're too good for that. I don't care who you're playing with, right? Yep. But just draw like a, a, a five-man box. Just teach me a couple basic rules in your five-man protection. Because I see you pointing out to Mike or pointing out to Sam. Yep. Tell me how this five-man protection works. I always pointed out to Mike. I always indicated who the Mike was. And so. what did that mean when you point out to Mike? Is that who the center has? Who the, who the offensive line is responsible for? Offensive line, yes, sir. Okay. It might not be the center all the time, but it's definitely going to be the top, the, the, the base five guys. So, say if I pointed out to Mike, then the line's got those five guys mm-hmm. hot off the will or hot off the Sam, whichever one comes, if okay, they would good. come. And then, I, like I said, I had the ability to change the mic. So, in 50, this is our 59 protection. It's our empty protection. We would make the mic most most dangerous guy. So, if the Sam's walked up over here, I'm going to make the Sam the mic. Just so I'm now protected. Now the line has a new call. They bang to the left. They all three center guard tackle. They fan out there. And you know yes, it's sir. picked up, right? Yes, sir. And then we're hot off mic at will. My friend did here, number 84. Yep. Look at your friend. You called him back in there. Yep. What word? How do you get him back in there to get him to block? What do uh, you say? Hey, 84. I just tell him to come in. I just give him a little signal. Come in, come in. And then uh, I can I can t- tell him to go stay on the le- stay on the right here. I can tell him to go to the left side. I can tell him to do whatever. And then we always slid away from the away from the tight end. So he's going to have the widest guy. So if we're sliding right, it's going to be Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. If we keep him on the left, we're, we're going to slide left. So it's going to be Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. Yeah. So I mean, so you brought this guy. You brought numbers. this guy in right here. Yeah. You brought this guy in, and you went Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. Yes, sir. So you said, "Hey, come on, come on, come on, Ricky, Ricky, Ricky." Yeah. And Tell then me. you change the route too with a hand signal. Uh, sometimes you can change the route if it if it can be run without the tight end. Then we're going to do that. <laughs> I love but that, I mean. Dicer. That's NFL stuff right there. When you recognize the problem, yeah. have an answer for the problem, yeah, and then cute. rip their ass. I love it, man. Yeah, love yeah. it. Ahead on Gruden's TV camp. I have. It really isn't a pure progression. This breed, this is a pick aside play, isn't it? Yeah. And then if you pick the Indian side, then it's, then it's progression. But. And, uh, what kind of responsibility does the man over here on the left have? I'm just curious. I mean, he's if he win. doesn't win, he's got to win. He doesn't win, you lose. Exactly. You, nicer. Yeah. You're you're being evaluated here right now today, not him. Exactly. And I just like the numbers. There's one one guy over there. To the, yeah, I do too. to the six over there on the Indian side. Well, here's the thing, really. You know, draw a bunch right. Draw a bunch formation up there. Let me see if trips right. West Coast terminology, yes? Yes, sir. Put the X over there and circle that X. Circle them. Okay, now draw a bunch right above it. Circle that X. Now, if you go back and look at these three-by-one formations, mm-hmm. right, I got three guys over here on the right. Yes, sir. Right? Yep. I got three guys. I got a tight end, a flanker, and a Z. I got three bunch guys on the right. I got somebody isolated on the backside. Yep. Who do we always isolate on the backside? The X. A badass. Yes, it ain't an X. Make it a BA. It's a badass. So I get into pro football. I'm Johnny Gruden here. I'm coming out of retirement. Yep. I'm going to have 15 plays out of trips. You dig it? Yes, sir. We're going to have a bunch of them designed to beat some form of split safety coverage. Zap, Dusty, 
whatever the hell the names are. Yep. I'm going to have about 10, 12 different combinations. If it's split safety covers, look at me, Zach. Throw the ball over there. Read it over there. Yes, if it's ever one-on-one -on -one single high, where are we going? X. B.A. It ain't X. It's B.A. <laughs> What's B.A.? I know who it is. He's badass, man. Yes, sir. He's going to win. Yes, sir. It's Calvin Johnson. Exactly. It's Fitzgerald. Yes, sir. It's, it's Plaxico in his day. It's Jerry Rice. Yep. Trips right X. Yep. Bunch right X. Think of it that way. Okay. Last couple of things. Write down consistency, will you? Yes, sir. Look at these Western Michigan. What are they? What are their nicknames? Broncos. Look at these Broncos. You got Bobcats. You got Broncos. You got Bisons. You got all these B people running after you every week. You shred them. Okay? You keep your team in position to win. This is a hell of a play. There's too much good. Mm -hmm. we got to be more can what? Consistent. Consistent. I have no idea. Somebody shot me, I think, when I saw this play. Is this free safety? Yeah. Is, is the ball too wet? Did it slip out of your hand? Yeah. What happened on this one? This was... I, I didn't see him. You didn't see him? No. He's, <laughs> look how short he is, man. Oh, you're talking about the height of the safety? Well, you ever heard of Bob Sanders? Of course. Bob Sanders, not, he was taller than that. No, it was my fault completely. Terrible right there. Let's see what happens with this class of quarterbacks. And what happens with quarterbacks is this, they're overanalyzed. Mm -hmm. We're overanalyzing you right now. Mm -hmm. But the reality is, the reason this quarterback class has been criticized is there's some hair-scratching plays. Yep. Head-scratching, hair-scratching. It's just unbelievable. Yep. Two plays, three plays a game. Look at that. Look at that guy. Yes, sir. Uh, he, he's so happy right now. He got you. And you created this this happiness. Yeah. God, it's got to make you sick, man. It does. Look how happy. Look at these guys just <laughs> hugging each other. Is this a wasted play? Yep. This, uh, this wasn't supposed to be the call. The play called. It was the signal got a little screwed up. On the, I knew it, too. I should have just called timeout. <laughs> Am I on to you or what? <laughs> You're a 45-game starter. Yeah. You're the three-time captain. You have 12,000 yards. You're supposed to be the next Roethlisberger. Yeah. You got a screwed-up signal, and you knew it? No, on the I, one I yard line? I didn't know it. This is our paint signal for, for draw. And we had another signal that that's what I thought it was. And so I was, well, so I thought it was the paint, but it was supposed to be something else. And then it said, I, right when they said paint, I was like, well, why are we running this right now? And I was like... Oh, well, it's like, that's what they're called. So then I went up there, and then afterwards, okay. I came back, and they told me, he's like, why'd you run that play? I was like, it's a play you signaled in. They're like, no, we signaled something else. And I was like, man, it looked exactly like paint. And you then know, I should have just called a timeout. What I'm saying is consistency. Mm -hmm. All right, we have to eliminate the bad. Yes, sir. Okay, there's going to be fog. Yeah. There's going to be two deer running across the field. Not a hell of a thing you can do about it, man. No, it's Stuff like that's going to happen. Yes, sir. But, you're good enough, you're smart enough, you're athletic enough, it's important to you enough yeah. to not force footballs. Yes, sir. Don't do it. Throw it in the dirt. Yep. Don't do it. Because what happens to me is I got great, 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 great. Oh, God, is that bad. Yep. You know what I mean? Yes, I can handle. Ah, next play. Yeah. Keep me in the game, man. Yes, sir. You know, keep us in the game. Yes, sir. Take command. All right. Take all the really good things you did with a grain of salt. You don't need pat on the backs anymore. Yep. You don't need hugs, do you? Nope. Oh, great job, Zach. Oh, that's a great job, Zach. Great audible, Zach. Great throw, Zach. Great job, Zach. You need that? Yes, sir. There's your friend now, your roommate, four years, number 15. Yes, sir. All right? Now draw this formation, and you got your all-go special going here. Yep. You got me? Yes, sir. And I know this number 15, what's his name? Andy Cruz. Let's give him some uh, ESPN airspace. Is it Victor Cruz's brother? No. No relation? <laughs> I don't spell the name the same. Okay, so he's your roommate for four years, right? Yes, sir. And we're playing Buffalo, and it's cold, and you and your roommate probably stayed up the night before the game watching movies, right? Put the tight end on his vertical on the back side. It's four verticals. Yep. Sit. Yep. How are you reading this play, man? Who's the primary? Yep. Number 15 is, right? Victor Cruz, yes? Yes, sir. Is it Victor Cruz? Andy Cruz. Well, you sure treat him like Victor Cruz sometimes, man. He makes a lot of plays for me. I know he does, but right here, I mean, look at number 15. Yeah, he's your roommate. Yeah, he's your friend. Yeah, you want to throw him a ball, but he's what? Not open. 
Yeah, and if you just read your what, who would you throw it to? Nick. Who? Nick. Right? He's one, one of them, man. Yeah. It's like Field of Dreams. You ever see the movie? You like movies? Yes, I have. Well, I mean, what is this an example of right here? Bad. Zooming in on your friend. Yes, sir. Selfishness. Bad, bad, bad dicer right here. Yes? Yes, sir. Because you had the right play call. It could have been a game changer, yes? Yes, sir. Make this note in your mind now. In the NFL, right down 6 and 10 and 10 and 6. You know what the difference is in 6 and 10 and 10 and 6 at the end of the year? In this league you're going to? Playoffs. It's five plays. Yeah. I'm just telling you. Tom Brady, Tom Brady, he would not have blinked here. That ball is crushed to the scene. I don't care if it's Penelope Cruz. You got me? Yes, sir. All right? Just telling you, man. You see this right here, Dicer? Yes, sir. All the great that you did. Mm -hmm. That's eight and eight great. Yep. I'm just telling you, there's going to be three or four plays per game. Yes, sir. They're going to be horrific. And you got to eliminate all of them. Yes, sir. I'm just saying. I, I don't know why people wouldn't take you and say, hey, we'll, we'll make this guy do it right for 60 minutes. Yes, sir. Can you clean up some of the inconsistency, or is it just part of your background? No, you definitely clean it up. Huh? Got to. I think what impressed me the most is his sincerity towards the game. This is very important to him. I thought it went really well. Uh, you know, me and Coach Rudin got off on a good foot, I think. I had a great time analyzing the table with him. You know, I definitely got better today. I think he's the kind of quarterback that will have a hard time making the same mistake twice. He knows exactly, you know, what you need to be, how you need to perform on game day. So, you know, being the lead quarterback in the NFL, and, you know, it was an awesome day.